Hello. How are you today? Mm -hmm. Is this your first time at the museum? Okay, welcome. Um, just before we get started, do you have your receipt of admission? Mm hmm Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to take the bottom part of the sticker off and you can apply this to your shirt anywhere you want. Okay. So if you just want to go ahead and apply that right to your shirt. Okay, great. Thank you. That's going to grant you admission into all our exhibitions here. Right, okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming to join us at the museum today. I am here as a guide, so I have all the brochures that you need, and I can uh, make suggestions, answer any of your questions. Sure. Let's just start out. Let's see what we have here. Okay. And we are open uh, until 5.30, so you've come at a really great time. You're going to have plenty of time to check out all the exhibitions you like. Yeah, I suggest taking your time, you know, getting to know each little section bit by bit. There's so much to see, so many interesting uh, things going on, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this is kind of an itinerary. As you can see, it says what's on today and this gives you a play-by-play -play by the time so starting at 10 a.m. which is a little past that now uh, but, so you can start at 11 a.m. at the great paintings which is guided tour uh, yes so for a daily rental fee I think they might have told you this at the front desk uh, you can get the audio guide which provides interpretive audio through the exhibits. I would recommend it if you really want an in-depth um, like hands-on interpretive description of all the exhibits, but it's not necessary. There we go, 12 p.m., 1 p.m., all the way to 6 p.m. Okay. So all the highlights. Set that aside right here for you. Now. Um, is there any kind of area of the museum that you're more interested in? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Photography, excellent. I definitely have something in mind to recommend you go check out. This is a catalog of what's on this season, fall 2016. So this is highlighting some of our um, new feature exhibitions. And it does have some of our other locations as well, but I'll just show you for here, this location. So these are all of the um, seasonal exhibitions going on, uh, meaning they have a limited amount of time that they'll be in the museum, so you definitely want to check them out while they're going on. Um, versus our, you know, permanent exhibitions that we have here that will stay in the museum 
from the time it's open to the time it's closed it never changes so for photography at the moment we have a really great exhibit that I'm going to go recommend you check out and you might want to um, choose to get the interpretive audio for this one since you specifically were interested in photography I'm just going to highlight this for you and you came just in time because it's only going on till the end of this month so it's the dream states is what it's called um, contemporary photographs and video gallery 851 very easy to find but I'll um, show you the map in just a moment so this is a wonderful collection of photographs uh, from different artists and photographers uh, revolving around uh, sleep actually and the dream state and all their different interpretations of that so as a lover of photography and surrealism myself um, I think you're really going to enjoy this one mm -hmm. so I've circled that for you I believe that's our only um, okay we also have the faith in photography as well and that's in gallery 852 which is right next door so all the photography is in the same general area So there's that, and obviously the other seasonal exhibitions are in there. Do you have a lot of time to check everything out? So, most important, here we have the map. And this uh, museum has three floors. Now, you don't have to, obviously, um, go in any particular order through the museum. Some people like to start at the top, work their way down, go each whatever way they'd like. Personally, I like to go kind of in order systematically throughout the museum, because I like to make sure I haven't missed anything. Although, I definitely would recommend going to the exhibition that you're most interested in first, spending a good amount of time there. So, although there's many interesting parts of the museum, there's obviously going to be each individual has their own preference, whereas some like paintings more, sculpture, photography, etc. Here we have the floor one and the mezzanine. Okay. So this is a really great map and um, it's really helpful getting around. So we are right here. So right next to us is the Greek and Roman art. This is the 100. 160s area right here, so it's all numbered. Um, on the other end is Egyptian art, which is a huge, um, that's a popular exhibit, one of our most popular. Um, you have the store right here in the center, and if you head on up this way, you have Arts of Africa, Oceania, Americas. Um, above that, you have modern contemporary art. That's if you head straight. We head towards the center here. We have the European sculpture, decorator, decorator of arts. Um, we have the medieval art as you head towards um, the other side here. American art, arms and armor, which is always a fun area to check out. Okay. Yes. So that's the first floor here. For some reason you get lost, you know, there's plenty of museum employees around to help you find your way. Okay, 
So making our way up now to the second and third floor. So this is the uh, 200s are over here. Okay. So here we have uh, American art on the right corner and Asian art. So those are all on the same side. Musical instruments, if that's something you're particularly interested in. Um, there's musical artifacts uh, dating thousands of years back, so super interesting there. And European, European paintings make up a pretty large section. In 1250 to 1800, so a very broad range there. And um, then on the other side here, we have modern contemporary art. And um, 19th, early 20th century European paintings, sculptures. Um, so this is the area that you'll be heading to first, most likely. And so right here is the photography section, which I'm just going to highlight for you. So this is the um, 800s area, as you see, photographs. So it's right next to 19th, early 20th century. So if you want to head there first, there's the uh, main stairwell, right at the center over there. So you're just going to head up that stairwell, and then you're going to make a left and go down the hallway, and that's where you find the photography. Okay, so there is that floor. And um, second and third. Yeah, sorry, I should have mentioned the, um, the third floor is a smaller uh, floor, but you can just head right up there through the hallway and climb right up the stairs and you'll be there, okay? Yes, there is a, a little store, a gift shop, right here. It's right next to the uh, photography center. Mm -hmm. If you want to pick up a gift for a loved one or yourself, whoever. Just trying to uh, see what else can help you here. There are some symbols on the bottom, which will show you on each floor. So, for instance, you have a little coffee symbol for a cafe if you get hungry. And uh, for the restrooms, little male and female symbol right here. Okay. And what else? Water fountain. Okay, so that's a very helpful little guide there. I'm just going to fold this up for you. Mm -hmm, which is really great. So I'll show you that. It's actually right on the back. So on the ground floor, um, which we're on now, if you want to go eat before you head around, which I would recommend because you want to you know, feel good and not feel hungry while you're walking around so you can enjoy the museum as much as possible. We have the cafeteria, okay, and that features all different kinds of food. On the first floor, if you want, there's American Art Cafe. Um, if you want something a little more um, kind of higher end with a service, uh, you have the balcony bar, and they serve cocktails there, as well as a roof garden bar. Okay. 
And are you a uh, local in the area? Mm-hmm. Do you not visit? Okay, great. Well, you might want to um, uh, become a member. So there's the little information about the membership here, okay? All right, great. So let me just get these together here. There you are. And take those. And do you have any other questions about the museum? Okay. Oh, of course, it's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, now that you know where you're heading, and if you'd like to um, pick up some headphones for the audio portion, uh, you can just head right back to the front desk. They can help you with that. Okay? Well, enjoy your trip. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Welcome to Gallery 851, Dream States, Contemporary Photographs and Video, running through October 30th, 2016. We hope that you enjoy your visit to this exhibition. Artists have long turned to dreams as a source of inspiration, a retreat from reason, and a space for exploring imagination and desire. In the history of photography, dream imagery has been most closely associated with the surrealist, who used experimental techniques to bridge the gap between the camera's objectivity and the mind's eye. While those modernist explorations were often bound to psychoanalytic theories, other photographers had pursued the world of sleep and dreams through open-ended works that succeed through evocation rather than description. This installation, drawn from the collection, presents a constellation of photographs that collectively suggest the experience of a waking dream. Many of the works here take the surrender of sleep as their subject matter. Sophie Kali offers a wry twist on the intimacy of slumber in her lyrical documentation of friends and strangers asleep in her bed. In photographs by Robert Frank, Peter Huyar, and others, recumbent figures appear vulnerable to the gaze of onlookers, yet their inner worlds remain out of reach. Images of bodies 
floating and falling conjure the tumultuous world of dreams, and landscapes are made strange through the camera's selective vision. Elsewhere, a swirling wisp of smoke, the mirrored surface of a dew pond, and the starry sky composed of pills and powders offer themselves for dreamy contemplation. We hope that as you wander through this gallery and explore all the different mediums of photography and video, that you may do find yourself a bit lost, a bit sleepy, and a bit yourself and awakening.